Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. We've got Paul Saladino, medical doctor, who's going to tell us how great meat is. He's a carnivore, a carnivore diet, I don't know, but he loves meat and it's a perfect food. Let's see what Dr. Saladino has to say. The vegan diet is not optimal for human health because it lacks so many of the nutrients that are found in animal foods. Creatine, carnitine, choline, answering taurine, vitamin K2, B12, riboflavin. Every one of those nutrients he just put on there is something you can either supplement with um, you know, or produce within your body, like creatine. Now, people have been taking this for 30 years now. And I don't recommend it. Um, your body produces this, you know, after hard physical exercise the way it should be. I work out every single day, 25, 30 minutes, very intensely, and that's it. That's what will give you creatine. The rest of it, as I said, you get that in the plant world. You need these nutrients to thrive as a human. We've been eating animals throughout our history. I believe animals and eating them was one of the key events that allowed us to become human. We see this incredible increase in brain growth size about 2 million years ago when we started hunting more. It's a correlation, but it's quite compelling. So yeah, I've never heard this theory anywhere in my life. This is, comes out of thin air here. Our, you, he ate, we ate so much meat that our brains got bigger and then we became humans. Well, then, you know, look at lions. I mean, all they do is eat meat. Why aren't they, why aren't they human? Why, why didn't they turn into a, this intelligent species? Because meat doesn't lead to brain growth. Dr. Saladino is making it up. There's no way that happened. So I think the vegan diet is not optimal for most humans because it is both deficient in the key nutrients that allow us to thrive and it results in a large load of toxins. So you're concentrating the toxins and you're getting the least nutrient-rich foods. You're concentrating the toxins on a vegan diet? It's 100% the opposite of what he's saying here. Leave it to a medical doctor. Okay, the longer an animal eats, the, the more toxins it accumulates within its body. That's called biomagnification. When you got a cow that's eaten hundreds of meals um, over its lifetime, then um, it accumulates a huge amount of toxins, and then you eat the meat, especially when you cook it. That's when you absorb these toxins. So it's not only a vegan diet or the plant-based diet that doesn't have the toxins, but if you really want to know the best diet, it's the raw food diet. That's the one I've been on. Uh, that's why I'm 65 years old and I still run a six minute mile. I'd love to race this guy. But mm. if someone is thriving on that diet, you're not telling them they should change anything. I'm commanding you to do mm. anything. It's simply if you're struggling with it. If you're struggling with it, consider the fact, become curious and understand there are other options that might result in health. The reason I did this video and I responded to this guy, it shows you the medical world. They're 100% the opposite of what you need to be listening to. So there are other options. The vegan diet, uh, the vegetarian diet, this is a very small percentage of our general population. Maybe 5 to 7% vegetarian, 3 to 5 vegan, It's maybe it's getting more, it's, it has been growing, but true vegan, getting a raw food vegan like I am, I mean this is almost nobody. And so there's alternatives. Yeah, the alternatives is what we do, the vegan diet, that's the alternative because Everyone I know, they eat meat. They love meat. Everybody loves a meat-based diet. They don't want to eat a plant-based diet. In the end, you know, would I want to have a burger or something? You know, they taste great, but I know this is not what's healthy for me. And that's what guys like Dr. Saladin, no medical doctor, MD, that's what he can't get over. That really, I just do this not because of animals or animal rights or all that. That's for other people. I talk about the vegan diet because it's the healthiest diet. Everything Dr. Saladino, MD, has said here is 100% wrong. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Maybe we could go out and have a beer sometime. But when it comes to health, medical doctors, they don't know anything. Nothing. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time.